There you go. That was my intro music. <laughs> I make my own intro music, ladies and gentlemen. Let the other YouTubers, so-called YouTubers, try that. Huh? Huh? With their fancy editing and their fancy technology. Hmm? Hmm? I do this with my mouth. I make my own intro music with my own mouth. Please. Please. Stay seated. No, you don't have to stand. You don't have to applaud. Okay. Um, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back at it again with another toy review. That was my second intro. Second, get it? Quotes, air quotes. Second two. Okay. Uh, this time we're taking it all the way back to, I don't know what year this is. Um, but it's not a new figure. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just kind of curious to see what year this is. 2014. Okay. Came out all the way 2014, huh? Hmm. Okay, I feel that like this uh, figure is much older than 2014, but I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go with the 2014. So this is the third, uh, third, third, I was going to say 13. This is the 2014 uh, anti-venom or anti-venom um, action figure. This is a special collector's edition action figure from Marvel Select, Diamond Select. Um, today we're going to be reviewing this guy. I'm kind of, uh, intrigued to get this guy open and check him out and see how cool he is. Um, I mean, it looks pretty decent. I don't know about those legs, though. Those legs kind of bother me. Kind of looks like he's wearing stockings. I do like his claws, though. So, anyways, enough enough of my yapping. I'm already two minutes into this video. Uh, I'm glad if uh, if I've entertained you up to this point. But it's time to do the get to the real entertainment and do the unboxing of Anti Venom. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here, here we go. Hopefully, this won't take me that long. Um, hopefully, Anti Venom is uh, not packed in there. Uh, too tightly and good the back piece the backdrop uh, It has tape on it good. Thank goodness because I didn't want to mess around with no twisty ties I'm probably gonna have to mess around with twisty ties with the figure but uh, That's uh, neither here or there because uh, we're gonna focus on the base um, a pretty, pretty uh, decent base. Uh, pretty flexible plastic. It's a heavy kind of plastic. Um, let's see. I don't know where these go in at. Where the hell did these go in at? Uh, there is my cat right on time. Making his uh, presence known. Because he wants to become uh, a famous celebrity. Okay, I guess they're going that way. They'll have to go on that way, right? There we go. See, it plugs right in there. It's kind of a puzzle. You plug it right in there. And it's very cool that they gave us this backdrop. I'm always pleased with uh, when uh, they give action figures uh, not a backdrop. Well, it's kind of a backdrop and it's kind of a stand or a platform. I don't know. What would you call this? A platform? But yeah, he will look really, really, really cool on that. Either that or Iceman would look really cool on that, because it kind of looks like ice, but it's not. It's kind of the, uh, I guess, the spider web of anti-venom. I think it's the spider web of anti-venom. Let me move this out the way real quick, and then pop out anti-venom. And he's got a bunch of twisty ties on him. Damn it. Damn you, Marvel Select. I got my big old trusty scissors here. Hopefully they're not going to let me down. Um, let's see, let's pop this baby open here. Ugh, how much do I hate these twisty ties? Alright, there's that. And I need to pull it so I can cut it. Uh, 
Boom. And we got two more. We got the leg ones, which looks like they're going to be very, very difficult to get to. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull them out without breaking his ankle so I can get a better grip. Okay, I think I cut that one. I think I did, I think I did, I did! I cut that one, ha! Huh? Alright, and then we come here, and then hopefully I'm gonna get this one. Ooh. Cut that baby open, I think I got him. Yes, I got him free! Ladies and gentlemen, I got him out. Uh, that's not a record time for a Marvel Select figure, but uh, that was much uh, quicker than uh, the Juggernaut and uh, Abomination uh, action figure. And he is really, really cool. One thing I I've said this many times before in uh, videos um, is this guy... I one thing I love about Marvel Selects is... I love the weight of these figures. You know, they're not like Marvel Legends where they're just kind of so lightweight and kind of cheaply made with cheap plastic. This right here, they use the heavy du duty plastic, and I love it. Love it, love it. And, you know, when I bought this figure, I. Oh man, I was uh, explaining. Um, uh, what, what figure, action figure, I was explaining? Because uh, I, I had a similar analogy. Uh, when I bought this figure, um, I liked him uh, in the package. I saw him on the internet, and then when I got him, I really didn't like him. I think I, I think that was the Deadpool, uh, the Deadpool Marvel Select. Uh, I had the same feeling uh, about Deadpool that I did about uh, Anti-Venom. Um, and what I said in the Deadpool video is what I'm going to say here is when I bought anti-venom i thought he looked really cool then when i got him and i saw him in the package i really didn't like him um and i was kind of hesitant to open up i didn't know if i wanted to keep him or not and then now um hold on a minute let me use this as a backdrop and now that i got him in my hands um he is really 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 cool i really really like this guy and he's not like any figure that I have. I mean, the closest thing I can kind of uh, compare him to is a Spawn figure. I mean, he he will blend in very well with some of my Spawn figures. And he kind of, I don't know how well you guys can see that face. Hold on, let me do a close-up right here if you guys can see that face. But yeah, he's really, really cool. I do like that face. I do like the face sculpt. I think it's a little bit dark. Um, his jaw is open, if you can see that. I think his jaw opens and closes. Or no, maybe it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, his jaw kind of stays that way. It doesn't, it doesn't close on its own. But he does. his head does move up and down. Let me put my camera down real quick, and I'll go through the articulation. So yeah, his head moves up and down. It's kind of on a ball joint. Um, I do like these picky things on him. There was a reviewer that was reviewing this figure, and it says, "Watch out for the picky things on him. They're kind of sharp." And no, well, they're really not. Um, I do like the the bendableness, if there is such a word. I does his hands twist? Yeah, his hands twist. So you can have him like that, which is awesome. Or you can have him like this. Can his, yeah, his hands bend? No, his hands, well, I don't know. Yeah, his hands do kind of bend. So, yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know if I like him like that or like that, but um, his legs do go up that much. They're kind of like on a ball joint. Knees bend. He's got ankle bend. And, yeah, he is really, really, really cool. I mean... Um, you know, I've said this many times. <laughs> I, I can't, I think I've said this, uh, in almost every video, uh, toy review that I've ever done. You don't really know what you're going to get from the action figure 
until you get them in your hands. You know, it's one thing seeing them in the package and then holding them in your hand. You know, it gives you a different perspective. I've said that a million times. I probably said it in almost every video that I've ever done, every unpackaging, every unboxing I've ever done. Uh, let's see. Does he have a waist swivel here? Um, yeah, he does. Kind of has a waist swivel. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and he's a really, really, really cool figure. The only thing that, I don't know, it doesn't bother me that much, but his feet are just kind of plain. It's kind of like he's wearing like a Adidas jump shoot, jumpsuit, you know what I mean? Or like a Nike jumpsuit. And he's got his Adidas on or his Nikes on, whatever you want to call them. I wish they would have given him some claws, you know, some claw feet. But, but overall, I mean, he is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. I love the, uh, I guess, would you call that a spider on his back? I mean, what else can you call it, right? He's really, really cool. A really good uh, antithesis to uh, Venom. Now, would Venom, I mean, Venom has played the good guy before, right? So would anti-Venom anti uh, be considered the villain of Venom, right? Because he's anti-Venom, right? I don't really know the story of anti-Venom. Do you guys know the, anti, uh, the story of anti-Venom? If you do, uh, leave some notes in the comments. But I'm going to put the camera down right here, and I'm going to put him on the stand. So... Here's his stand. See how he looks on his stand. So we'll just kind of peg his feet in, like so. And, and there he goes. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty awesome. Doesn't really stand up straight. There we go, if I can get him to stand up straight. Yeah, he looks really, really cool on that stand. I feel like another figure can go on that stand. I don't know why. You know what? Hold on one minute, guys. I want to get my uh, my Sub-Zero action figure. Actually, I don't even know what the hell. Oh, yeah. I got it. I'm going to get my Sub-Zero action figure here. And I'm going to replace him with Venom. I'm going to see how Sub-Zero looks on here. And you know what? Sub-Zero... Hold on. Does he have pegs? Yeah, he has pegs. Let me see if I can get him pegged in here. Um, this is the PX exclusive. If you, if you guys didn't see a review of this uh, Sub-Zero, please check it out. Let me see. I can get them pegged in. Okay, that's probably good enough. <laughs> now, Sub-Zero actually, <laughs> actually looks pretty pretty cool on this. He actually looks better, than, better on this than Anti-Venom does. That is really, really cool. You know what? Hold on a minute, guys. If Sub-Zero looks good on this... Then hold on one minute. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Iceman. Um. On this stand, this is Iceman from uh, the Toy Biz. Uh, Iceman. I did a review of him. If you guys didn't see that, please check it out. <laughs> you know what? Iceman even looks good on this, and probably one of the reasons why uh, Iceman looks good on this is because this webbing back here kind of looks like ice. So, you know, Anti-Venom, uh, Sub-Zero actually looks better on that. Well, Iceman didn't look too, uh, too bad. But you put Anti-Venom on here. And, I mean, yeah, he looks good. You know? But I think Anti-Venom deserves a better background. I mean, Sub-Zero, look at how cool Sub-Zero looks <laughs> on Anti-Venom's display. I mean, isn't that cool? What do you guys think? I mean, it looks more like Sub-Zero's... You know, uh, whoops, he lost a snowball. Sub Zero stand, then Iceman. Quick, quickly, who wins? Sub Zero or Iceman? X Men Iceman. Who's gonna Who's gonna win? Who do you think is gonna win? Leave your Leave your uh, uh, comments in the comment section of who you think will win. X Men Iceman or Sub Zero? But anyways, you know what? I might put. Uh, Sub Zero, um, on that on that display stand because it just looks more like Sub Zero, Sub Zero stand than Anti Venom. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, <laughs> let's get back to the figure at hand. I'm already 15 minutes into this video. Really didn't do much of a review other than articulation. 
Um, yeah, he's really cool. He's got some red on his side. I guess would that be blood or would that be a part of his costume? But yeah, I mean, he looks he looks cooler without the stand. You know what I mean? He just looks cool by himself like that. I mean, he doesn't really need the stand. Like I said, I probably put Sub Zero on that, you know, instead of uh, Anti Venom. But there you go, guys. Um, there is my review of Anti Venom. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give Anti Venom maybe. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? I'll give him. I, I want to give him a high score, but he's not perfect. You know what I mean? But he's really awesome. So I'm going to give him an 8. You know, maybe, yeah, I think 8 is a fair a fair assessment of this guy. I mean, he's pretty cool. I mean, he doesn't have an articulated jaw, which kind of sucks. The feet kind of bother me, so that kind of takes away from the high score. But 8 is a fair is a fair number. What do you guys think? I mean, the sculpting on is beautiful, but it's just kind of plain, you know? I mean, I do like the black wash over the white. Um... You know, but he's not perfect. You know what I mean? I don't know what that is. What is that on his leg? I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'll give him an 8. You know, maybe he'll grow on me. Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I'll leave it in the comment section if I change my mind. Um, maybe, yeah, like I said, he'll grow on me. But that stand with Sub-Zero uh, is perfect for Sub-Zero, so I might use that for my Sub-Zero uh, figure. But there you go, guys. There is my review of the 2014 Marvel Select Anti-Venom. What do you guys think? If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to see more cool videos like this, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, you can find me on Instagram, find me on Flip, uh, well, not Flipagram, but Vigo Video. Um, and also you can find me on Facebook as well. There you go, guys. There's my review of the 2014 Marvel Select Anti-Venom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!